Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Wednesday morning, January 24th. We are looking at Window Traders Market Profile of the ESNENQ. First, I'd like to start off with, uh, I'm doing another podcast this evening with Aaron Corbs. Really enjoyed the first time I did one. So looking forward to that and we'll let you know um, once it's done and when it gets posted. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Okay, well, look what's happening here. Um, possibly another gap, uh, one of decent size this time. Okay, right now it's over two dollars for us. Uh, it's 130 points for NQ. We are in uncharted territory, right? The S and P, the NQ, and uh, I'm assuming the Dow also will be opening at new highs. Uh, Netflix earnings came out last night. Um, right now they're trading it up fifty dollars from yesterday, or ten percent. So again, the market um, continues to go higher. Look, I've been banging on the drum since November to stop trying to pick tops. Something changed in November. We saw it with those three huge gaps to the upside that never even got tested by a penny or a tick. Something changed there, right? We one time framed up nine weeks in a row, pulled back one week to come into balance, balance for the next a week or two and now again exploded out. SPY had an inside year. You're exploding out of that to the upside. So again, you know, there's only so many ways you can put it, but stop trying to pick tops. Uh, that's all, you know, that's, I'm a big educator and that's one of the big things we talk about in my trading room. And I hope it has sunk in. Um, right now, Righty, who had a, a double distribution day down, is looking to take that all back. Now remember, Righty's still up on the um, daily. Even though they had a trend day down, they never took out the previous day's low, okay? So they're still up. As for us, we had an inside day, right? Inside day rules. You come out of it, you go with it, and monitor for continuation or lack of. We're gonna see if there's continuation. Now I would have liked to have opened in yesterday's range above the price spike and then come out of it because that would give us a lot of fuel to the upside to where we're trading possibly now. This does take a lot of the steam out of the market. We see that a lot where you get a big gap and then you don't get much more. So patience is definitely going to be in order again uh, in A period for me, right? The, uh, if we had opened, say, at uh, K's high and then we started getting um, nice acceleration and tempo, that's where you want to take the long above, you know, as we go above yesterday's high and start running. They've taken that away from us. Again, the market doesn't care what we want, right? So we have to adapt and adjust to what the market is doing. So again, uncharted territory for all this here. Okay, you know, people again will say, well, we're too stretched out. They've been saying that for $40. Look, look at this thing, as we're speaking, it just keeps ticking higher and higher. Okay, so again, visual levels, you know, 17.7 in NQ, 7.50, uh, you can pick whatever you want. The bottom line is this, okay? Let's see where the overnight high is. And then you could see if you want to just front run it the first time and use that as you're out. At least that's a decent risk reward short. Okay? As far as the long, there's no way I'm buying this up here either. No trade is a trade also. So if I don't want to short it, which I don't, and I don't want to be a buyer all the way up here, I'll just be patient. Let the market start painting its picture. Remember, there's 13 time frames that paint a beautiful picture for us each and every day. Take advantage of that. So it's silly for me to say, well, I'd short it here, I'd buy it here. We don't know yet with 70 minutes to go. For a dollar a day, you could find out in my trading room. But again, that's your call. You have to uh, pull the trigger and, and join the uh, room. And then on the chart, <clears throat> so the weekly, again, uh, the monthly, again, coming out of an inside year, exploding to the upside. How far will we go? Anybody's guess. I know people will try to put numbers on it. Uh, you know, this uh, average true range and this number and that number, it doesn't matter. It matters what the market does. Weekly, after a full week balance, last week up, this week exploding up. And the daily, one time from Emma, the inside day doesn't stop the one time framing. So we went down on this day, balance back to balance on this day, Remember I said it's going to encompass this as the whole balance? Well, we exploded out of that balance on Friday, continued on Monday, 
Tuesday had a little balancing, but it's still up. Bal and then I said up to balance, and now we're looking to explode out of that inside day to the upside. Now, two major things that I think need to start changing for this run to continue is range expansion and volume. Our range yesterday was the smallest of the year. Our volume was under 50 million. That's the lightest of the year. Now, that doesn't mean the market can't keep going higher. But at some point, you would like some longer-term sticky money players fueling this rally. Good luck trading today. Thanks for the likes and subscribing to this channel. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.